Hey, Ty Cohen here. Really quickly, I was talking to one of my coaches, uh, Caroline Trainer, who some of you guys may know, you may have seen her in the Kindle Publishing Group, and um, who we actually had a team meeting last week, and she said something to me that, that, has, that has stuck with me ever since. She said something to me that hopefully this video will help you. If you fall into this, this category, it'll help you out. And this is a message to the 40 year olds that are out there, the 50 year olds, the 60 year olds, the 70 year olds, the 80 year olds, the hell, even if you're 90, right? This is a message that hopefully will resonate with you. So she said, Ty, sometimes every once in a while, I'll get on the call with um, one of our students and there will be an obstacle and it'll be seemingly a smaller obstacle and, and, and they'll feel like they're totally defeated by it, right? They'll, they'll feel like they're broken by it. They'll feel like they can't get past it. Um, they'll feel like they lost their mojo. They'll feel like they don't have the same drive, the same spunk, the same desire, right? And I want, if, if that's you, like if you've ever felt that, because I've definitely felt that before, right? I think that it's a process that everyone goes through at some point, but I want to remind you that you are a badass. Like, think about it. Like, that's something that I have to remind myself of, that I am a badass. And I say that not to just be vain, but I say it because if you have hit any level of age, if you're 40 or over, you've gone through some stuff. There's some things that you've gone through, whether it's losing a house, whether it's losing a job, maybe losing someone that you deeply care about, uh, losing a business, having to start all over again, right? Having tax issues, maybe um, having filing bankruptcy, maybe having missed a couple of payments with some bills, but you overcame those things, right? So you overcame those things, you got to a point where you were still standing. It's that same, but, but, but same willingness, the same desire, the same push that you had to give yourself when times got hard is the same push that you'll need to give yourself when you see these smaller obstacles that take place. And, and trust me, usually now, at the level that you're at now, the obstacles that you're, 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 you're facing now are much smaller than the ones that you faced in the past. I don't care if it's, a, if it's a, an issue like figuring out the tech side of things, you're starting your business or you're learning Kindle publishing. Maybe you have had some setbacks with a ghostwriter, right? Maybe your ghostwriter has ghosted you. Maybe you have had some setbacks where the first book that you published didn't sell as well as you thought it would, or maybe you haven't hit the milestones that you thought that you've hit. Those are super, super, super minor compared to the other things that you've had to overcome in your life. So. I just wanted to share this with you. I don't want you guys giving up. I don't want you, and, and this is usually a small percentage of people, right? That just need that push, that need that reminder of how incredible you are. Don't forget, one of the things that works for me, I was sharing this with someone on, um, uh, I'm in a mastermind program that I paid $10,000 to be a part of. And I was sharing this with one of the mastermind members. This is a guy who was super successful in business, who has made, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars. And he was at this point, right? He's like, how do I, how do I get, I think the guy was like 44 or 45 years old. So super young guy, super, super, super young guy, right? Um, especially considering like people are living to freaking 100 years now, right? 100 years old, 90 years old. So he hasn't lived even half of his life yet. But he's like, Ty, I've had all of his success, man. And you know, I've seen some obstacles. How do I get past it? I've, I see so many people that seem to be winning. Right? So many of my peers seem to be winning. So many people on social media seem to be winning. And I shared something that I do. And what I do is I keep a box of all of my accomplishments, big or small. I keep a box of um, the things that I thought were super difficult to get past at the time or that was super challenging to get past at the time. And I overcame them. I keep a box of the goals that I set for myself that I finally hit. So this could be a variety of anything. It could be, you know, you guys know I have sickle cell anemia, right? So it could be a box of when I was really sick in the hospital and had been there for days or for weeks and was really feeling down. And when he, when I got past that, a little note, a little reminder, hey Ty, do you remember? 
you know, July 15th through July 23rd, you were in the hospital and you were just like going through it. The pain was crazy. You, and, and you got past it. Like, so reminders of things that we can look back at, we can reflect back on, and we can kind of say, you know what? Shit, I am that person, right? Um, reminders of goals that I set, things that I wanted to do, houses I wanted to buy, um, uh, family accomplishments that I wanted to reach, health accomplishments that I wanted to reach, business accomplishments that I wanted to reach, um, times where it didn't look good, right? Times where I overcame possibly going into bankruptcy or possibly losing a house or stuff like that and still being here. So what happens is because we're human, people tend to just look at what's taking place or what's going to take place in the future and we negate everything that happened in the past for the most part, right? So I'm asking you to remember all of your greatness that took place in the past and bring that into your present, bring that into your future and let it push you, let it drive you, let it help you to become bigger, better. Let it pull from the strengths that you had before, right? And continue to push forward. Ty Cohen, and I'm out. You're the paper, remember?